What drug caused me to have the scariest hallucinations of my life? What's up, you guys? My name is Nicole Pludre. I'm a person in long-term recovery, and I love to talk about drugs, addiction, recovery, and so much more. And today, I'm going to share with you guys about the drug that made me hallucinate like a motherfucker. So if you guessed methamphetamine, you would be correct. But let me just share something with you guys. It wasn't so much the methamphetamine that made me hallucinate. It was the lack of sleep because I would not stop using methamphetamine. Anytime I experienced psychosis, it was always because I hadn't slept in about four to five days. Right around the four, third, fourth, fifth day mark is when I would start slipping into what I would call another dimension. What made it so difficult for me is that my hallucinations were, they were grounded in reality. So what I mean by that is a lot of the hallucinations that I would have would be people that I worked with talking to them like they were, you know, at my house or, you know, outside. I would see, you know, people that I worked at Kroger with or um, I would see my boyfriend that I was dating at the time. So because my hallucinations were always connected to something that was, you know, in my real life, sometimes it was hard for me to differentiate if I was hallucinating or not. And that's when it would get really, really scary. What I would do to help myself dif differentiate whether or not I was hallucinating or not, whether or not what I was seeing was real or fake, is I depended on the people that were around me. I would ask them, are you seeing that? Is this really happening? Is this person talking to me? You know, is this person standing here? And if that was a good person and they weren't fucking with me, they would let me know, Nicole, you need to go to sleep. You know, go get some rest. You're just, you're just seeing things because you hadn't slept in a while. But that wasn't always the case. A lot of the times they were fucked up individuals who would lean into my hallucinations and taunt me with them. What do I mean by that? Well, when I would say, hey, Gerald, um, is that Miss Marva from Kroger? Is she here at the house talking to us? Oh, yeah, yeah, Miss Marva, come on in. And he would actually start interacting and acting like he was talking to my hallucination with me to fuck with me. This is super dangerous and really fucked up to do, especially if you're dealing with somebody that is in psychosis who also struggles with, like, being violent. Luckily for everybody around me, I, I wasn't a violent person. I never get mad or angry or violent when I'm in psychosis. I usually just get scared or really, really funny. But lack of sleep was always the culprit for me. If I would get some sleep after like two or three days awake on meth, I would be fine. It was that three, four, five day bender mark where I hadn't got any sleep where, like I said, my reality would start meshing with the hallucinations and the fantasies in my mind. So if you guys have any experience with hallucinations, uh, comment down below if you can stitch this video and share your experience with me. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. If I can get sober, anybody can get sober. If you guys are down and you want to support me, check out my series, Life After Meth. It's linked right there.